you know what's really fun about this movie is working with uh, at least a dozen of the funniest, most, um, I don't know, inventive improvisers I've got to work with. And I've worked with a lot of great people, but sticking Steve and Paul and Zach Galifianakis and Jermaine Clement and, you know, all those people in the same movie, it really does become just, I get to let them run free and let the chaos reign. And I, um, I get to just cut it together, you know, and, and find the best of it. Paul Rudd is, the, is a schmuck in, a, in the sense of jerk. <laughs> Steve Carell is a schmuck in the sense of fool, supposedly, at the beginning. That's what you think. Paul's character thinks he, to get a promotion, he should go along with the company practice of inviting schmucks, fools, to dinner and making fun of them without realizing it. He invites Steve Carell, and instantly his life turns upside down because Steve Carell's character is so annoying and so destructive um, that, you know, it, it, it starts to seem like he's not going to survive it. And that's, that's the story. It's, it's how a, a kind of guy who seems like a loser turns out to be a sort of wise, um, super optimistic force in Paul Rudd's life. They're, they're great with each other. They've known each other for so long. They've worked together. They do seem to be able to read each other's minds. And also, they're, they know the button to push to provoke the other and to crack the other one up. They, they're, I think they're like, you know, two best friends who live in a kind of comedy um, world where the greatest compliment, the great, greatest favor you can do for somebody is make them laugh. And they, they, they're so caught up in that that it's just when and how are they going to pull it off. It's easy, you know, it's easy because they, their chemistry is, you know, 95% of what's great about what happens. All we have to do is, you know, provide them with good scenes and good, you know, scripted ideas that they can start off with and they, they do the rest. I like comedies that, um, you go in and maybe you have your own troubles and your own heartaches so about, and you see something on screen where you see pain overcome by an attitude that is f really funny and you laugh at their foibles and their flaws and their, and, but you're also in a way letting yourself off the hook. <laughs> and I, I think comedy can be therapeutic. Um, so, you know, it's probably pretentious to look at it that way, but I always, I, I've, in very sort of down times of my own life, I've, I've always, you know, walked out of a great comedy thing. Hey, I, I can deal with this.